I'd like to show you how to mark a simple eight division on a Japanese tamari ball. Um, this is the kind of design that you can stitch on a simple eight. We have a north pole, a south pole, and an equator, and it's divided into eight vertical sections. So you can see eight different sections here. The first step is to start with our thread wrapped ball, and we use a paper strip to mark it. Um, this one I, I got from a shredder. You can also use um, paper quilling strips or just cut the edge off of a piece of paper. So the first step is to fold back the end on the paper strip just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch or so. And then you put a pin right through the fold mark, straight into the ball, not at an angle. And wrap the paper strip all the way around the ball. The goal here is to make it so it's um, the length, the distance around the ball, which is a circumference, and we want the paper strip to be just that long. So we're going to fold it back on itself and put it right up against the pin. I like to use a needle for this purpose, and then you can fold it back on itself like that. Here you can push the needle right up to the edge of the pin here, and then press it down to give it a little fold mark. Now what we want to do is pivot the paper strip around and check in a different direction. We'd like to uh, make sure our ball is round and make sure that the paper strip is the right length. This one looks good. Um, at this point if your ball doesn't uh, work, if, if the um, fold seems like it's, it's not going to match up to the pin when you wrap it around, it probably means that your paper, I'm sorry, it probably means that your ball is not round. And what you need to do is take your pin out, roll the ball around in your hands, and try to get it round. Push down any, any lumps and bumps. And then try it again. Okay, the next step is to um, fold this paper strip. We want it into eight different sections. So here is the first time. We're going to put the edge right up against the pin. Fold it down. And cut a little corner off. That's in half. Now we're going to do that again. Put the edge right up to the pin, crease it, cut a little notch, and do that one more time and we're going to have our paper strip into eight sections. This one's a little thick, but you can do it. Now our paper strip is marked in, uh, folded and notched into eight different sections. Okay, the next step is to place the south pole pin. So we want to fold our paper strip in half. We're going to use the midway point for the south pole pin. Um, I like to use a white pin for the north pole so I can color code my ball. I always know um, where the north pole is and I use a blue pin for the south pole. Alright, so then we turn it. We need to pivot and check and each time we pivot, we're probably going to have to move the pin. It's hard to get it in the right spot the very first time. So keep turning it and moving that pin. And you'll eventually get it into, a, um, into the spot so it's directly opposite the ball. And once again, if, that, um, if it doesn't happen for you, it means that one side of your ball is probably larger than the other and you need to pay, take the pins out and, and try to get it to be round. Okay, the next step is to put uh, eight equator pins in the ball because this is a simple eight division. So we're going to um, use the second notch on the paper strip and we're putting a pin by the fold mark. Remember that the notch points to the fold mark and that's where we're going to put our pins. At this point, you don't have to worry about spacing them equally. We're going to do that in just a minute. Right now you just want to get the eight pins in the ball. All right, one more. And let's cut the paper strip off the ball. Now we're going to move it down and wrap the paper strip around the equator and move these pins sideways so that um, they're all equally spaced. 
So I like to put where um, the hole where the North Pole pin was, put that on one of your equator pins. And if you pin the paper strip to the ball, uh, makes it just a little bit easier. Okay, it's all the way around. Now let's move these pins sideways. Try not to move them up and down, we're just going to move them sideways. And put one of the red pins by the, each of the folds on the ball. Okay, all done. Let's take the paper strip off. And now, what we have is um, a North Pole, a South Pole, and eight pins around the ball. They're all equally spaced. So it's time now to add um, the metallic guidelines to the ball. And I like to work from a comb. This is a product by Rainbow Gallery called Nordic Gold. And what you want to do is to take a needle and um, thread it so it's it's still attached to the comb. Don't cut a length, just leave it attached to the comb. We're going to go down in at the North Pole. Come up an inch or so away. We're going to take the needle off of the thread and tie a knot in the end. And clip the tail short. All right, now go back to where the thread is coming out of the North Pole and pull it through. Sometimes you'll have that, um, you'll be able to pull it hard enough so the knot just pops right down under the thread wrap. In this case, I'm a little worried it might break, so I'm going to use the uh, end of my scissors and tuck that right down under. You can do that anytime you're stitching or adding guidelines, tuck something under, and then rearrange the thread um, right on top. Okay, now it's time to wrap around the uh, vertical guidelines around the ball. So what we want to do is to go past an equator pin, past the south pole, past the equator pin, past the north pole, and then pivot. Now there's a little, um, little trick here to getting the threads so they always line up on the same side of the equator pin. And that's always a good idea. So let me back up here and I'll show you what I do. I like to go to the right of an equator pin, to the right of the south pole, to the left of an equator pin, to the left of the north pole, and pivot. So while I'm wrapping, I'm saying in my head, um, right, right, left, left, and pivot. So here we go. We're going right, right, left, left, and pivot. Right, right, left, left and pivot. Right, right, left, and we're back up at the North Pole. Now all of our vertical guidelines are wrapped around the ball. Um, the next step is to tack the intersections at the North Pole and the South Pole. So what I like to do to save a little bit of time is I'm going to back up now to the South Pole. I'm going to hold this thread in place. Whenever you um, need to work with the guidelines and you need to stop for a second. You want to make sure you hold that and keep tension on it so it doesn't flop loose. Um, let's cut about 20 or 30 inches from the spool and we need to thread a needle. Now to thread the needle I like to place it in the ball there as a little holder. And now we're going to tack the south pole. And by tacking, you just want to take a, a little stitch or two. This time we're going to just take one stitch. Now the south pole pin is tacked and we can take it out. Let's wrap on up to the north pole. And here I want to take a couple of stitches at least because I did that pivoting and I want to make sure that all these threads are going to stay in place. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to leave the North Pole pin in. Um, I like to leave it in um, while I'm stitching the design, too, the whole time, and then I can always tell where I am. Um, the next thing I want to do is to wrap a line around the equator. So to get there, I'm going to stitch underground. It's going to take me a couple of stitches. I couldn't make it in one pass. So um, I came up. Now I'm going to go back down in the same spot. Come up at an equator pin. Okay, now let's wrap all the way around. Laying the thread right next to each of the red pins. Here, I'm back where I started. And once again, we want to tack. I'll take one little stitch at each pin. And as we take that stitch, we can take the pin out. So one diagonal stitch is enough. Um, come up in this section and go down in this section, and that'll give you one diagonal stitch. And then you can stitch underground to the next pin. Um, here I've come up in this section, and I'm going to go down in that section. And keep working your way around the ball. Stitch at each of these pins till they all get tacked. Okay, that's the last one, and to end off, I just come up um, away from where I was stitching, and then just to make sure it's secure, you can take a stitch back in the opposite direction. Put a little pressure on it. If you um, pull it a little bit and clip right close to the thread, wrap that in, it's going to retreat back into the ball. Now, here we're all finished marking. We're ready to stitch. We've got the North Pole pin still in the design, in the ball, uh, an equator wrapped, tacked, South Pole pin, all tacked.